Hello everyone, welcome to Anointed Lady TV, the home of news and politics. If it is your first time in this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you like what we do on this channel, hit on the subscribe button, also put on the notification bell so you'll be notified by YouTube anytime we drop a new video. And if you are returning subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back to watch our videos. On this platform, we drop videos every day and we react to every video that come our way. And on this very video, I will be watching with you. And after watching, let's go to the comment section and drop our opinion constructively. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. See you next time in my next video. <laughs> We are not asking for money. We are asking for PVC. People were on the line, and at the end of the day, they came up to tell us that like, there is no machine. Like if you are 29 years now because of the strike, before you go for service, you are only above the air, service age. I'm next German Professor Mahmoud Yakubu is not competent enough to provide Nigerians voters card. He should honorably resign. Hello Nigerians, currently we are in the city of Abuja, the federal capital territory and precisely we are at the INEC headquarters in Abuja at Area 10 and here we have a crowd, we have a crowd that's, um, I think right now behind me everything is just in chaos because Nigerians are here to register for their PVC but according to um, what has happened here, um, they are claiming that the INEC officials have ordered them or told them to go back home and come back on Thursday because there is no machine available here at the headquarters. And the Nigerians have a whole lot to say. They are complaining. People have been here since 5 o'clock in the morning, since 4 o'clock in the morning, and nothing has been done. Let's hear what they have to say. And uh, we have been here for, I think, since about 6 o'clock, we've been here. Some people have been here from 4 o'clock, some have been here from 2 o'clock, and we are here to collect our PVC. Some are here to register. They say there's no machine. For what? For how many weeks? For how many weeks I've been looking for, to get my PVC? I cannot get it. For how many weeks? They don't want us to vote for our rights. We need change. We need change. My brothers, my sisters, they are at home. No school. Strike everywhere. Enough is enough. That's good. Their children are not here. <laughs> Yes, they are tired. They are tired. We are tired. Enough is enough. We need change. We are we are saying that so many of us here. Many of us here are in school. There are strike going on for many months. You will talk, sir. You will talk. Calm down, you will talk. Enough is enough. Please, we need change. There is machine. There is machine. Please. Like in the past, they always tell us that we don't used to vote. You used to come and we only vote online. Now we want to vote physically and we want to vote and they are depriving us the right to vote. Like personally, I went to Old Parade Ground for my PBC and they said that they, 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 they've closed. I have to come here and we've been here since morning and they said that they, 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 we, we can't uh, have our PBC. And we should come out on Thursday and it, it's ending on Thursday. So please, we need to vote to change this country because they are tired of staying at home. Like if you are 29 years now because of the strike, before you go for service, you, you're only above the uh, service age. And you can't, you, you can't go, you can't, you can't go for service. So we are tired of it. We need to vote. We need our right to vote, which is the PVC. I don't know what is even happening in this place because a lot of us came here as early as 2 a.m. Yeah, we came here as early as 2, as 2 a.m. People have been here waiting for this PVC of it. But they ended up telling us not quite long after since morning that. They are that the machine is not great, and that there is nothing to want that we should have it within ourselves. That if we can come back as well, we should come. It is quite unfortunate. This is our right. We are not asking for money, we are asking for PVC. That is what we are looking for. Because we believe that there is what is called franchise. We have to be, we have to vote and to be voted for. Let them give us that right that belongs to us to vote. You see, with all the candidates are Nigerian, so whoever we like we will vote. But let us give us the people to vote. We are much here, we are angry, and it can cause something else. Why would they say there's no machine? The first thing we heard that the machine, they just bought it and they need to fix it. The next, um, the next 
meet with her now. They said there's no machine. We should come after three days. Back. Who does that? Why is the person of my right? Is that right to speech or we need to speak? People were on the line. And at the end of the day, they came up to tell us that there is no machine. And that is not even going to end tomorrow. That today, there is no machine. And we are going to speak to them. Now, they are going to come back on Thursday. They did not even go to any uh, of the publishing house. Not even the radio station. They did not even go to any of the radio station. They did not even go to any of the publishers, not even the radio station, to inform the citizens of the country that no, they are not going to, as in, we are not going to be available on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We are going to be available on Thursday so that we will notice and we will be aware they did not do that. We need our right. We want to vote. We need our BBC. This, I was here 5 a.m. this morning. We, they asked us to write names. We wrote our name. And they, they list over 1,000 people have put down their name. And they, we discovered that they said, if you call us, I will come and join line. We join the line. We join the queue. Later on, they were grieving us until they said they are not, the machines are not available. We should go and come back in the next three days. We are tired. We need our PVC. All we need is PVC. We are not here to quite fight anybody. Let them give us our PVC. Let us vote our right. Majority of the PVC standing here, they are students. They are home more than three, four months. We are tired. We must vote. We are going to vote. If they refuse us PVC, they should stop that election. Who voted? No PVC, no election. That is somebody of PVC. We must vote this time around. We know their plot, but this time they will fail. Over. You guys ask us to come out and get our PVC. You are here to get our PVC, and you are you are you are you are, you are, you are playing us for fools. We have been here. At the, uh, at the old parade ground, they said it's Metama. From Metama, they say it's here. Fine, we have been following them. We have been following them. Now we are here. What? What? They say we should fall lines. We should write our names. We do this one. Yes, we have done all those things. What next? They are coming to tell us that the machine is not available. That the machine is this. The machine is that. This is Abuja and the headquarters telling us. How much is the machine? What are they expecting others to do? How much is the machine? Okay, right. Fine. Now I just have one advice. I have one thing I want to say, which is this. This time around, we the week we have worked up, and there is nothing I'm going to do to suppress us. Some of us are spending. The price before now, and some of us are still willing to pay the price to say that this country is good for tomorrow for our children. Are you getting me? So, this time around, their money, their intimidation, order, whatever, is not going to shake us because this time we will stand and see the right thing done. We will vote, we will collect this BBC, and we will vote, and we must watch our vote count. Then, let me tell them in case they think that they are not going to do, give us our PVC. One thing I will tell them is this. If they don't give us our PVC, sorry for this. If they don't give us our PVC, then they should be ready to do head to head counts. Because we will stand on the queue, they will count us by our head. If you have a OB, you will stand for OB. If you have a ticket, you will stand for OB for article. We will do head to head counts because they are trying to frustrate us. They are trying to push us away so that they will use their candidates. And this time around, I'm not going to take that shit. Actually, the machine that spoil, the money that they give them, maybe rack up already swallow the, the money. So maybe we should go back. The normal, the one that we normally do before. We join Q. Everybody should follow his own. Because I think they are not ready. They are mentioned have problems. So I think that's what we do for now. They are not even ready to do anything for the youth. They, they, did, not, they did not come early. And secondly, they, someone, nobody came to talk to us. They, they sent a security person to address us. And the security man came to tell us that the machine has spoiled. The other one said they had just put the machine to other centers. They don't, they don't, they don't want to even tell us the truth at all. That's why we are angry. The only thing is that if they say the machine has spoiled, we want to ask Nigeria and them, how much is the machine? We are ready to contribute more money to buy that machine. How much is the machine? No light, no nothing in this country. We cannot keep on continuing suffering like this. It, let me tell you, in my office, they say we will not enter inside office without PVC. In a church, we are not allowed to enter inside church without PVC. It has become too much for us. We are ready right now to vote. Let them give us our votes. Let them give us. That's what we are begging on, begging them to do. I am a man of few words. Understand? If I'm next chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu is not competent enough to provide Nigerians voters card, he should honorably resign. Yeah. And we are not going to live there until we get registered today. Yeah. Understand? I'm a man of your world. I know how it means to other Nigerians to get their PVC. Some of them have even been sacked from office unless they get their PVCs. Understand? For me to be here today, I know I won't live here until I get my PVC. They should use the same system they've been using before. That just the whole They should take the machines to polling unit and every the whole thing will just drop. So I think that's but for me, I think I need one to be scarce so that the youth cannot vote. That's just the whole game. We know the game. That's the game. That's the game. Okay, yes, and there you have it. We have a whole lot of Nigerians. We have a crowd complaining and lamenting about the um process to getting their 
PVC. How they have complained, how they have gone through so much. They have come from far and near. Yeah.